uh, Ivo Stoinov, who's come over from Bulgaria, especially to present to you today um, on the APT astrophotography tool. So uh, I'm sure he will have something of interest for us. Welcome, Ivo. Thank you very much. So APT, or Astrophotography Tool, is a long time journey of building a product about uh, automating uh, the imaging process and uh, its main goal is to make the things easier and simple and more productive. Uh, this journey started uh, in uh, 2008 um, and uh, uh, during all these years its main uh, target is to uh, evolve and uh, make the things to, to follow the evolution of the astrophotography, amateur astrophotography. Uh, the, this evolution is not a simple timeline. It is a process of covering different areas uh, of uh, features and uh, the amateur astrophotography is um, growing with, uh, uh, with uh, the needs of the user and uh, the learning curve and the uh, uh, workflow. We are all changing, uh, changing our cameras, uh, workflows and so on. So uh, what I have learned uh, in, during these years is that uh, one software uh, should um, grow with the needs and uh, to provide everything what the uh, what is what are the our current needs, and uh, this is what we are trying to do with my wife Maria uh, during these uh, years. Uh, it is not possible to ex uh, show all features of ABT for such a long time, so I would like to uh, present you uh, how uh, ABT have grown and evolved during the years in order to to be in help of the other community, which during all this year, uh, years, uh, were, is uh, very supportive, uh, providing feedback, knowledge, uh, know-how, discussions, which is great, uh, uh, great uh, help for us during this um, uh, process. So, uh, I will give a short uh, look at the near history where we came from. Uh, in the near past, uh, before millennium, uh, what we have to do in order to take an astro, uh, astro image? We uh, have more or less only our current technology, film cameras, uh, manual or semi motorized uh, mounts, and uh, it was a real adventure to focus your camera and to frame your uh, object. Uh, after several nights, for several nights you have to image on one film and after that uh, you are ending with one of these exposure film and uh, this is only half of the, the, the journey. Uh, after that we uh, had to make some alchemic magic to process the film in the, our, uh, in the small photo lab, which uh, every self-respected photographer has in Calon. And this is only uh, at, at this point we can see how the, the stars are uh, around. So uh, the, the years near millennium started to make the things much easier. Uh, and uh, uh, to give us cheaper and cheaper DSLRs, cheaper and cheaper computers that we can use even on the field with uh, codes and uh, dual. And uh, uh, this simplifies a lot of things because we can, we can see uh, what uh, uh, is the result of our of the current image, uh, of, of the current exposure after a few seconds. So, now we are digital and uh, uh, 
I want to uh, to represent the evolution of uh, the photography area and uh, our software with a kind of coordinate system of the uh, digital astrophotography. On the horizontal axis, we will show the uh, supported devices. On the vertical axis, we will show the level of control. So, APT started with supporting uh, DSLR cameras from Canon brand. And uh, on the basic level, we have control over the ISO exposure, uh, the other parameters, uh, taking exposure, starting, stopping, wide view, saving, downloading the image to the, to the computer. Uh, here, we, we, can, we will add the other uh, supported cameras, just because we are at this point in the moment, but uh, in the time, it took time to cover all, all, the, all of them. So now, APT can control, on basic level, Nikon's CCD and CMOS cameras, the, the last are group name for different brands like Altair Astro, Tarlet Express, ZWR, QHI, and much more. Also, we can control the cameras via ASCOM driver, most of them via native driver, and uh, all of them via Indigo and Indy, which is kind of alternative of ASCOM under Linux. So we can connect to remote server and use the cameras there. So uh, let that something on more on the vertical axis and this is uh, the first level of control where we can define imaging plans. The imaging plans allows us to make more with less effort. And uh, on this screenshot uh, you can see a simple a sample plan for taking high dynamic range with DSLR for M42. We can define different sets of exposures to be taken with um, different exposure duration. I saw what passed to, to the between the, the exposures and uh, so on. For CMOS, it is almost the same, but we can uh, also control filter wheel. Uh, the, the next level of automation is to define different type of plans you can run. Uh, for example, lights, light frames, dark frames, flats, biases, uh, dark flats and fr frame and focus images. Every type of the plan has its slightly different features which are unique for them and help us to make the things easier. Uh, also, on this automation level, we can mention the sc uh, scripts which uh, APT can be configured to execute. We have uh, separate commands for different uh, tasks like <coughs> pulling the camera, warming the camera, go to, go to, go to, to different position, um, parking the scope, and the list is quite big. Uh, when we t when we are in the digital area, uh, we our session always produce a lot of files, and uh, it is good to put um, order during the imaging, uh, so later to be easier to find and use the files. Every one of us has a different way to put order, so we are trying to make it as much as possible configurable. So to have to, to provide possibility every one of us to uh, to do it by his own way. The first step is to separate the images in different folders. We can group by them by object name, by date, by camera. You can see the options uh, available. And so uh, once we selected the the grouping, we can define what to put in the file names, like again exposure name, ISO exposure, date time, time temperature, in, in left there are more options, and uh, 
you can see how we look the the sample path and sample name, which will be generated during the the night. Also, uh, if you are using Pix inside uh, or Ethernet by uh, by processing script, we can uh, generate file names which are uh, understandable for it. Uh, these names are a bit longer because it, it includes uh, keywords, but uh, uh, WP, BP scripts uh, like it and make the uh, grouping and processing much easier after that automatically. You just put a set of files and it separates it by exposure, by filter, by time, by, by uh, type of, uh, of uh, imaging plan. So if you are using fixing site and this script, you can consider it. So let's add another uh, device in the uh, horizontal axis, it is telescope control. The basic is obvious, we, can, we, we should be able to drive a mount via ASCOM driver or Indigo driver. Um, on the first automation level, we can mention that uh, some tools which make uh, the pointing uh, a bit easier like our object browser with thousands of preloaded objects and stars. Also, connection with, uh, to planetarium applications, various of them, which uh, also is uh, handy. Some, for many of us are using planetarium during the imaging. So, let, this is the, 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 the level of the features I want to, make, uh, to mention in this level. On the, the next automation level uh, comes the guide control and the deterring. Uh, LBT can communicate with various guiding programs and solutions uh, and also can uh, do deterring. This is a game changer for me, uh, technology, because uh, saves me taking darks and bias files, especially when your camera has no ammo. Uh, the deterrent is two phases process uh, during the imaging and during the processing. During the imaging, uh, the position of the object is, uh, changing, is changing slightly between the exposures, so the imperfections of the sensor to become on different places uh, according to the, uh, compared to the main object. So when uh, we are stacking the files uh, with uh, pixel rejection algorithm or Kappa Sigma in deep sky, stack, uh, deep sky stacking application, these uh, imperfections uh, will be removed from the uh, cutting uh, algorithm. <coughs> Here is the list of the supported um, uh, guiding software. Even if you, uh, when when you have a mount which doesn't need guiding, like the new Arctron mount, we also can provide uh, deterring with direct mount control between the exposures, uh, similar like uh, PhD we will do when IPT send deter command. Uh, plate solving is uh, something very. Um, very, uh, a technology which is very interesting. It uh, roots come from the early years of the astronomical uh, astrophotography. Uh, for the case, the professional astronomers were using uh, plates, which are a uh, piece of glass with uh, photofilm on it. Later, it was uh, plastic, uh, plastic uh, foundation. Uh, and uh, for every uh, every object was imaged with long, one long exposure, like uh, the analog films we have started uh, in the beginning. And uh, as a result, uh, uh, in addition of the main object, you have a bunch of stars. 
the first step of science is in this moment is uh, uh, to uh, locate several key stars in this image and find its uh, coordinates in big paper catalogs. Uh, having this, we can define a coordinate system for this image, uh, one corner, center, or one of the stars. And uh, having the uh, coordinate system, we can uh, calculate the right ascension and declination of every point of this plate. And uh, this technology solving uh, many different plates were key to, for various uh, astronomical discoveries like asteroids, different asteroids, their orbit, comets, orbits. Pluto was, Pluto was uh, discovered on a plate uh, measuring variable stars, distance to galaxies, and so on. So, plate solving is a, a level milestone in our um, progress in APT, and in which is the result of the progress of the astrophotography. Because the computers make uh, plate solving much easier, faster, and uh, uh, accessible. Uh, APT don't, uh, is not uh, able to, to do the calculation itself. It depends on external programs to do the star identification and finding their coordinates. These programs giving a result, the coordinates of the, the image center. And uh, we have built uh, uh, two main point craft, which uh, uh, hides all the details about it and uh, provides additional uh, features. We to support the three uh, most popular applications in the moment, ASTP, Astrometric Stacking Program. It is the most modern and uh, powerful in the moment. Uh, plate solving, uh, plate solve tool made by Plane Wave, and uh, OSKY plate solver based on astrometry.net. There are two kinds of solving uh, technologies. One is near solving, which uh, uh, use the approximate coordinates of the frame. You, are, you know that your image is M31, and say this is image of M31, and the solver will uh, search in very small area uh, for solution of this uh, frame. This piece of things a lot, and uh, uh, the, the solving is in seconds. If you uh, uh, don't know where exactly you are in the moment, you can do blind solving, and uh, it will look around the whole catalog till uh, it finds a um, uh, solution of uh, the stars, uh, stars configuration in the, in the <coughs> frame. Uh, so, initially, yeah, I said that, uh, the blind solving is very useful when you do initial gold alignment of your uh, mount. There is no need to, uh, to make one, two, three stars alignment. You can take one 50 second exposure, make a blind solving, sync the telescope, and this is all you need. After that, you can do uh, regular. Uh, auto. Follows are several uh, point graph features. On this screenshot, you can see a uh, solid image of M78 Nebula. In the center, there are two small circles. This is the center of the, the uh, image. And uh, in right, you can see uh, the coordinates, which are uh, the, the, cent the coordinates of the center of this image and uh, its rotation according to uh, North Pole. Knowing this coordinate and angle, we can uh, use aim mode and click anywhere in the uh, image, like uh, the circles between the two bright parts of the nebula, and we find the exact coordinates of this of this point. 
and uh, this makes the the framing one click point. We say this is the point we want to be in the center, and ABT will do it. Uh, usually, the the go to mounts are not very accurate. They go to the coordinates we want, but there is some uh, offset. Because of that, we have made a new function, go to plus plus, which is a broad version of the go to. It goes to where we want, take an image, solve it, see what are the difference between the, our target and the coordinates the, the scope is pointing in the moment, uh, calculates the correction that should be made, and made another round, taking an image, solving, calculation of the error, and uh, this repeat configurable, of course, uh, till the object is in the uh, center of the image. However, the uh, point craft needs connection to the mount uh, in order to make the goals. If you don't have connection because your mount is not computerized, uh, we in here comes another APT tool from um, the pre, uh, pre point craft era. Uh, Framing House was made 11 years ago and it was unique for uh, that time. Uh, you can mark several bright stars on the uh, image, save it like a mask M78, and load it when you want to reframe this object. Uh, the advantage here is uh, that there is no, to, to, no, no need to make long exposure to see the, the, the faint object. You need to uh, exposure with short, for short time just to see the, the stars and moving the, the mount with the mount control or bolts. Bolts? No, we will not work. But uh, with the hand controller um, to, to match the, the stars to the, to the marks. Also, uh, we have option to, to switch the, the marks according to the position when you flip the, the mount uh, uh, via meridian flip. Uh, sometimes if uh, the, the frame contains bright enough stars, it is even possible to use live view of the SOR to, to make the matching between the, the stars and the, the marks. So, this is something to be in help if you don't have a uh, computerized mount. <coughs> it will work with trackers too. So, uh, in our coordinate system, in the uh, horizontal, we can, ha can, ha uh, can have gaps because we don't use some of the, uh, the devices. But in the vertical, it is pretty much continuous. Uh, in order to reach one level, more or less, there is need to support the, the lower. For example, we cannot do go to plus plus without having go to. Putting a new device in the, the mix, uh, which uh, is the wheel control. Of course, the first level is uh, easy to change the filters. Uh, on the, the second level, we can upgrade the imaging plans with possibility to change filters. On plate solving, uh, on plate solving level, we can. Uh, define what filter go to plus plus to use. For example, we can uh, say all go to plus plus will be made with luminous filter because all stars are brighter. Uh, and when the process is finished, to get back to the imaging filter, which could be narrow band sulfur 2, which d makes the star pretty small and uh, needs longer exposure to be found. So, when we have a software, uh, it should provide what we need. If it doesn't have a patch under the, the bar of your needs, 
it will not work for you. So it is good to uh, so try to, to be uh, to provide. Here um, I want to uh, to add to the mix one very important device, and this is the motorized focuser. Of course, we have needs to move the, the focuser. Uh, on first level, uh, I can mention to uh, to a uh, height focus site which measures the half flux meter and half flux and uh, half full with half maximum uh, size of the star of selected star uh, and Bakhtinovite which analyzes the spikes uh, the famous spikes of Bakhtinov mass uh, and uh, gives uh, feedback how good the focus is depending on one star or the spikes on the level 2 we have added a new feature named focus craft which analyzes the whole image uh, detects stars and uh, measures it half of the meter or uh, full with half maximum uh, together with another feature of APT, out focus site, it gives possibility to uh, make automatic focusing. The, the two combination, uh, the combination of two, uh, focus craft and focus site, was is a result from uh, cooperation, discussions, and brainstorming with uh, several APT friends. And uh, uh, what out of focus I do is to uh, find mathematically where the, the focus position should be. In fact, even not third, theoretically, uh, the focus is not one point. It is a range of uh, focus positions where the stars are with same size. Depending on uh, of your telescope, this range could be longer or shorter. Faster telescopes have very short critical focus zone and slower telescope has bigger uh, critical force focus zone. So uh, usually the process is taking several images on several uh, focus positions, makes the calculation and decides where should the focus should be. The classical V-shape uh, focusing use half of the points to build one line and other half, the other half of the points to build another line. line and uh, connect, uh, calculate the intersection of these two lines. Uh, our method is using uh, hyperbola uh, fit, uh, which use all the, the points in one uh, function, and uh, this gives better result, especially when you put into account the atmosphere turbulence, because all points are part of this function. It is self. Um, self-fixing if one point doesn't fit the model. So, no matter what we use, if V-shape or U-shape, if the calculated focus zone is in the critical, uh, calculated focus position is in the critical focus zone, we can tell that uh, we have good focus. So, uh, one of the uh, biggest problems in, during the imaging is the meridian flip. Uh, you, everyone, know, everyone knows what is uh, uh, meridian, and uh, usually this way uh, means wasted time that uh, all of us want to minimize. Uh, in the beginning, most of us are uh, thinking: Do we, do I have to make meridian flip to do? flip or not to flip, mm -hmm. but sooner or later uh, we uh, reach the point where uh, we want to image one object almost all the time that is possible. So it will face it. We will face it. It is easy way now and uh, you can uh, get most of your imaging time. Uh, to make a meridian flip, uh, usually there is need to uh, stop the guiding uh, with the object to, to be uh, from the other side, flip the telescope or center, uh, 
uh, starter guiding and um, uh, resume the imaging. In uh, ABT, we have uh, started to build a new tool session craft, and its first submodel was Meridian Flipping. Uh, it automates the whole process. Uh, it, it will monitor when the, the object you are imaging, when it will close to the meridian, when it close enough, it will take a short exposure, solve it, to remember the exact framing in the moment, we'll pause the imaging, uh, the, the, we'll pause the guiding and the tracking of, or in order to avoid hardware uh, collision of the telescope in the tripod or in the pier. Uh, when the object is from the other side, it will flip the mount, use go to plus plus to recenter the object, we will resume guiding, select a new star, star guiding, and resume the imaging and this is only one checkbox to, to click to enable or disable depending on uh, you want to do sorry I should have been showing this during the <laughs> talk if you don't have go to plus plus again you can use um, framing masks so this uh, this this will make your uh, Meridian flip again easier, a bit easier, even if, uh, if your mount doesn't allow it. Uh, as, a, as I mentioned, uh, Meridian flip was uh, the first uh, part of session cap. We continue to develop and uh, uh, and to improve it. Uh, the next session uh, section in it, uh, ne next model in it, is um, the control of um, uh, the imaging process. Uh, ABT can monitor the the position of sun and moon and calculate when the darkness starts when. Uh, twilight start uh, and when you are uh, using DSLR or, or broadband filters uh, you will be interested to, to use the, the darkness uh, for your images if you are using a um, uh, narrowband filter and the moon is not so big you can w work with what we call astronaut it is the time between the, two, the, the astro twilights uh, so, in the session control model, you can define on particular time what imaging plan to be executed. Uh, for example, when astronauts ends, you can define to take sky floods, and uh, when the sun is rising, to park the scope, uh, warm the camera, and uh, and. Uh, complete the whole imaging session. The next, the, the last section of, uh, of uh, this uh, part of APT is uh, the focus control. Uh, ABT is possible to, to be configured to uh, do automatic refocusing on various events. The automatic refocusing is process when during your imaging, uh, the imaging plan to be stopped, paused for a moment, uh, to execute the automatic focusing with um, uh, our autofocus tool and focus graph, and uh, when the focus is reached, to, uh, to resume the imaging automatically. Th there are several triggers we can use. It is uh, a focus on different uh, temper uh, on temperature change in the temperature, uh, a focus on uh, image count. You can say every 10 images I want to, to refocus uh, on defined time. Also, it is uh, possible to refocus on filter change 
when you build a focus uh, imaging plan with different filters, the filters usually are not uh, with the same focus position. Even when they are advertised as parafocal, there are some is uh, uh, some difference in the positions which they are in focus and it even depends how well you have threaded your filter if it's a quarter of a, a turn less even the focus the filter and parafocal they will not uh, be on the same focus point point so uh, when you have a plan with uh, different filters you can enable this option and uh, on every line with, where you uh, change filter a refocusing process will be executed and imaging will resume after that uh, also interesting option is refocusing after meridian flip the schmidt cassegrain telescopes and similar which uh, don't have working of the mirror when you change the position of the the meridian, the main mirror will have a small movement, flop, so uh, this will change the focus and uh, it is good to, to do it as part of the meridian process. After the, 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 the position is changed, APT will refocus and after that will resume the rest of the, uh, the procedure like uh, starting the guiding and uh, resuming the imaging. Also, during uh, the imaging process, you can keep an eye how good the, the, the stars is, and if you see that there is an uh, unexpected change, the big temperature inversion, for example, uh, you can say after the, the next image, very focus, and uh, it will be it will happen and after the refocusing we will uh, continue the imaging so this is the uh, a, short, a little bit shorter version of what I have wanted to, to, uh, to tell you maybe I have spoken too, too, too fast but uh, we are continue to work on APT uh, and um, more features are planned and uh, uh, are going to come. Uh, what we have planned for the next version and uh, which should happen, should be become available very soon, it is automatic power alignment using plate solving. Uh, it will take, it, it takes several uh, not several, exactly three points in the sky away from the polar uh, pole, uh, uh, north pole or south pole, uh, makes calculation via plate solving and uh, uh, calculates uh, what is the uh, misalignment of the polar axis. After that, we'll start to take exposure and solving them with instructions in which direction you have to turn the out altitude and azimuth. Uh, boats in order to uh, get better power alignment. It is almost finished, the calculation is ready. It is not ours, it is uh, shared from the Indigo project. Uh, our friend Roman Bogdanovsky uh, was very kind to, to us to, to use it in our project too. So this is what, uh, what is going to come in the next version. We hope in um, by the end of the year to make the possibility to uh, execute plans with different parameters. For example, you can build one imaging plan for taking uh, luminous RGB image and uh, to execute this for different objects just passing their coordinates as a parameters of the plan it uh, will be easy to use, just say this plan for this project, for this uh, object, execute it for five years, for one hour, after that execute the same plan for two hours on other object. So another feature that we are trying to, to come, not the next version, but the version after that. 
Uh, what we, I want to thank uh, uh, together with Maria for to the whole community uh, about uh, their support about our project. Uh, thank you for coming here to 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 hear this speech, and uh, thank you to the organizers of this great event and the possibility to uh, represent FT to you. Thank you.